Hello everyone, welcome to Oxford Railway Station. Now today we'll be calling all stations in Oxford and Dickham Parkway because on the 12th of June 2019 the line actually celebrates its 175th anniversary and on the 15th of June 2019 the line's actually going to be celebrated at with events down the line. Now sadly I can't do the 15th of June 2019 but uh, I thought, you know what, I'll come down on the 10th of June 2019 and do a special blog for it. So we'll be calling at the following stations today. Our first station we are visiting, Radley. Cullum, we're changing train to Dicker Parkway. And our last station of the day, Appleford. Now, the station at Oxford is not the original station because when the Great Western Railway opened Oxford Station on the 12th of June 1844, it was a terminus station with what is now Western Road in Grand Pont. The current station at Oxford, which is this one right here, was opened on the 1st of October 1852, when the line to Banbury and onwards to Birmingham was extended. The old station at Grand Pont became a goods depot until it closed on the 26th of November 1872. The station at Oxford went through two rebuilds during its time. The first rebuild took place in 1971 by the Western Region of British Railways and then in the 1990s when Network South East added a new station building and a footbridge. Now we are here till 12.07 because we're going to catch a train to Radley which is our first stop on this route and we're going to be at Radley for an hour doing some filming and then we're onwards to Cullum which will be there for two hours doing some filming and then I'm going down to Dickup Parkway which will going to be there for 30 minutes just to change trains and then the last station of the day Appleford will be there for an hour and a half and then we're coming back to Oxford so hopefully it should be a good day today despite the weather because it is absolutely raining today and unfortunately that's going to be like this during the rest of the day Class 165, 165, 135 arrives and boards the train, 2L31, 12.07 departs Oxford to Dickup Parkway, calling at Bradley and Appleford. A mile 
down the line is Hinksley Yard, and once there was a station here called Hinksley Holt, which opened on the 1st of February 1908, but closed on the 26th of March 1915. It's now time to leave the train at our first stop, Radley, which is five miles and six chains south of Oxford. I'm now at my first station, Radley, which is south of Oxford. Now the station at Radley opened on the 8th of September 1873 and was built mainly for the boys of Radley College. This station was formerly a junction for the branch to the town of Abingdon after Abingdon Junction Station closed on the 8th of September 1873. The station was renovated during 2008 with a new footbridge which we're standing on right now, shelters and a new car park. Now we're in Radley to about 1313 before we move on to our next station, Cullum, which is just down the road from here. Depart Radley on board 165-130 to our next station, Cullum. This is 2B35, the 1330 to Dickcup Parkway. Cullum is 7 miles and 24 chains from Oxford. Sadly, on arrival to Cullum, there was a freight train passing through at the same time when the Class 165 departed the station.
I'm now at my next station, Cullen. Now sadly we do have two hours to wait here because the trains are every two hours towards Dickert. And I can't jump back to go back to Oxford because it's the same in the opposite direction and I've only got an off-peak day return ticket between Oxford and Dickert. But um, Cullen Station was owned by the Great Western Railway. Uh, this station was named though Abingdon Road on the 12th of June 1844. Now the name was changed to Cullum on the 2nd of June 1856 on the same day as the opening of the branch to Abingdon and Abingdon Junction Station. However though there was another station named Abingdon Road which was later reused of a different station name. Now the station is actually 5.5 miles behind me in this direction here going north. Now the station was actually named in 1908 as Abingdon Road Holt. The station built behind me is a Tudor Revival design of Isabar Kingdom Brunel. And this station here at Cullum is also the ninth least used station in Oxfordshire. So after two hours here, we'll be travelling on the 1517th Dicker Parkway because there's no train stop at Alfred Dell till at least four o'clock. After leaving Cullum on 2L43, the 1570 Dickcut Parkway, the service passes Appleford, which I miss filming passing through, but we shall return later on. We also pass Dickcut Yard before arriving at Dickcut Parkway Station. We are now approaching Dickcut Parkway, where this train terminates. On behalf of the on-train crew, thank you for travelling with Great Western Railway. We wish you a safe and pleasant forward journey. And on arrival in the Dick Cup Parkway, the train terminates on Platform 5.
I'm now at Didcot Parkway Station. We're only here to change trains, of course, because I'm waiting for the uh, 4 o'clock to Appleford, so we can do Appleford Station. Now, the railway ran through Didcot Parkway since the 1st of June 1840 by the Great Western Railway, extending their main line from Reading to Steventon. On the 12th of June 1844, the line from Didcot to Oxford was open, and Didcot Station was open on the same day at the junction, which is where it currently is now. The Didcot, Newbury and Southampton Railway was open between Didcot and Newbury on the 12th of April 1882 with the line extending to Winchester Cheese Hill on the 4th of May 1885 but the line was closed on the 10th of September 1962. In 1985 a new main building for the station was built along with a new 600 space car park and on the same day the station was renamed Dicker Parkway. Dicker also has an engine shed with the BR code 81E. The sheds closed in 1965 but it's now home to the Dicker Railway Centre. Angus Steinwolf to Pengam reception side in Pass By worked by GB Rail Freight Class 66 66703. 2B45 from Bambi arrived and terminated on platform 5. And now we're on board 165136, departing on 2M48 1600 to Banbury. Two miles of free chase from Dickert Parkway's Appleford which only has 19 trains stopping here on a weekday and 18 trains on a Saturday with no trains on a Sunday and we're getting off at this station to do some filming
And now I'm at the last station of the day, Appleford. And after this, I'll go straight back up to Oxford. So, Appleford Station was opened on the 12th of June 1844, on the same day as the line was opened between Dickert and Oxford. But on the 12th of February 1849, the station actually closed. But it wasn't until the 11th of September 1933 the station reopened as Appleford Halt in response to the growing competition from the buses. On the 5th of May 1969, the Halt was dropped and it was just named Appleford. This station between Dicker and Oxford is the least used station on the line, which has 6,562 passengers a year. This is uh, the OLR statistics between 2017 and 2018. But this is the fifth least used station in Oxfordshire. So, after an hour and a half filming here, I'll be leaving here just after half past five at 17.37, and I'm headed back towards Oxford. This station is ridiculous. As soon as you leave the station here, the station's just down here by the way, there is no footpath here, it's just pure road. And you will get cars coming, especially like on a curve. It is absolutely horrendous here. There's no car park facilities, there's nothing here. Apart from, if we go back, there's even no disabled access here, it's just stairs. Just stairs coming down onto the platform. It's unstaffed, Appleford Station is. And all you got here is a cross country train passing. Where that's shed. Damn it. Anyway, you've got help points. Mirror here. Got your Dr. Matrix stream there. I wanted that shed. Came from Castle Bromwich. Oh well, should have been paying attention. And all down here, you got waiting shelters on each platform. That's all there is here. I don't even know how far the town centre is. I don't even know if they have a town centre or it's a village. But anyway, we're about 12 minutes away from leaving this station back to Oxford. I'm now travelling back to Oxford on board class 165, 165, 135 again for the third time. But this service stops at Cullen and Radley. On the way back to Oxford, Kennington Junction is seen which takes the train to the freight only line to Morris Cowley. And also we get bowled by a class 66 locomotive. Now back in Oxford, our trailer came off from 
is 2M54 which started at Reading and departing Oxford at 17.53 to head to Banbury. I'm now back at Oxford Station. Now it has been a good day despite the weather which has been raining. Well it wasn't raining at Radley but it was raining everywhere else. It was raining at Cullum, it was raining at Appleford, it's raining here now and it was raining at Didcot but it did try to wear off at Didcot. But um, yeah the weather could have been helped but to be honest dis despite that it has really been a very good day between Oxford and Didcot. Uh, we visited Radley Station, which was brilliant. We visited Cullum Station, which I did enjoy seeing the uh, Tudor Revival Station building that Brunel built or designed. And we went to Dickert to turn round. We did see the um, Great Western Railway Saint locomotive that was there. Sadly, though, it didn't have time to go into the Dickert Railway Centre. It was only a 35 minute turnaround. And then went to Appleford, which was a good station, which we were all a bit, but it was ridiculous that there was no footpaths where you need the station. You think you're like at 8 o'clock in the evening, on a winter's evening, pitch black, there's no street lights on that road. It's, it's a lovely station, but it's ridiculous how you get out of the station. I don't know how people do it, to be honest. But um, other than that, there's been good stations along the route. It's been a good day. We've got a variety of attractions from 165s, 166s, Class 800 IETs, Class 66 locomotives and that's it really. So I'm going to finish up now because it has been a cold day a bit and I'm going to get a coffee. So um, happy birthday to Dickon to Oxford. We celebrated their 175th anniversary this Wednesday on the 12th of June 2019 with the celebrations for that on the 15th of June 2019 and I'm going to leave it now and catch my train back home so see you everyone